was allegedly texting on her cell phone when she lost control of her car and collided with another vehicle. traffic-related deaths. Half of those killed were texting the moment before the crash. Are taking their eyes off the road, putting everyone around them in danger. on his phone, crashes into police cars and emergency vehicles, killing one officer. crashes in the traffic unit, we're observing traffic crashes that occurred because of distractive driving. All eight groups are crashing because of distractions from teens to over 50s, continue to crash because they're not paying attention to the roads because they're doing something else while they're driving. Driving requires 100% of your attention. Distracted driving caused nearly 1,000 crashes in Collier County last year. Help keep our roads safe. When you're behind the wheel, just drive. That's it. One of the programs offered by the Collier County Sheriff's Office is our teen driver program. This is a program that's open to our high school age kids who either have a permit or a, their, their, their license. Uh, what we try to do in this program is it's set up through the FSA and it's geared towards helping kids understand the laws a little bit better, uh, understand the distractions that are out there, and it's a two-day class that we put on through our Youth Relations Bureau. Uh, one of our main focuses in the teen driver program is that of distracted driving. Our goal is to try to educate our students and teach them the dangers associated with uh, distracted driving so we cut back on the amount of accidents that take place here in Collier County. More than 10% of the crashes on Collier County roads each year are caused by distracted driving. Help keep our roads safe. When you're behind the wheel, just drive. That's it. I perform traffic enforcement duties here in Collier County on a motorcycle. We have some distinct advantages on a motorcycle while enforcing traffic laws here in the state of Florida. A few of them that were highly visible and we can see things most people can't sometimes. Especially when people were like in distracted driving situations where I can pull up next to a car, I can see a lot more into the vehicle and I notice people here in the county at times being distracted while using their phones. It's an advantage being on a motorcycle to see that because I can get right next to the vehicle and there's times I've actually yelled over to them and asked them at a stoplight or a red light to uh, stop texting while driving. Every year, about 421,000 people in the United States are injured in crashes involving distracted drivers. When you're behind the wheel, just drive. That's it. When we talk about distracted driving, we're not just like you said, we're not just talking about texting and driving. And all these guys here and all of us have seen it as law enforcement officers. The problem that we see, the more you're doing this, the more likely you are to get into a crash. But here's the key. Everybody thinks that's just related to what? You guys, teens. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. That's not the case at all. Technology's come so far, and there's so many things out there for, for people to get their hands on, that it's adults too. It's not just teens, okay? There's a reason why we target you now and talk to you about it now, and why is that? Future. Future and to break bad habits, right? <laughs>